Good morning traders, Joseph here from ACAP. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a little bit of the aftermath of two key moves in mainly two currencies. So the US dollar being one and the uh, CAD being the second. So we're looking at the um, Australian dollar to the US dollar now and we can see that you know, amazing move that we saw last night which has been followed up by more buying today. So the US dollar took a real uh, break lower overnight. Now the ISM manufacturing PMI came in worse than expected. Uh, that added to the woes of the USD. Uh, we also had comments come out of the uh, ECB and we'll get on to the Euro in a moment. So we can see that basically the Aussie dollar now has broken out of this uh, medium term downtrend. Um, we saw support that um, is now being looks like it's confirmed at support point. Uh, that's around that uh, 67.50 to 55 area. Um, so what we're going to be looking at now is this is a bit of a statement bar. So Will we see this continue higher? Uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, later today we have the RBA rate decision and RBA rate statement that the rates are expected to stay on hold. Uh, we'll see if that has any influence on today's move. But any moves below sort of this that midpoint down to this level here is a bit of a worry. Uh, we want to see that buyers maintain sort of this area. Um, to produce maybe uh, another follow-up rally if we do see selling and then push higher to possibly get back up to uh, that 6860 point uh, to start uh, really trying to show that we have a new um, a new trend underway. So we'll move on to the euro now. It's a very similar story. The euro made a solid break uh, move higher. Now the difference between the Aussie and the euro is yes there has been a trend break here uh, but we're still sitting under this resistance so that's the next test for buyers to break they need to uh, clear this area uh, to show that they're still in control and um, hold momentum it's a but it is a very good starting point to see on that buy that we saw yesterday now an interesting one is the dollar cad um, we didn't have like a lot of you know high impact news for the Canadian dollar but the Canadian dollar was very weak last night now we can see the USD which was absolutely trounced against a lot of the pairs and it was absolutely trounced to the yen um, it made a very solid session to the CAD now um, this wasn't only the USD that did this the CAD also fell quite heavily against the pound uh, we can see that strong move there so again the dollar CAD is back at this area testing these levels uh, we've seen multiple attempts by buyers around this area here um, but we haven't seen any real uh, follow through yet uh, we've had a bit of a move down this morning that's been pulled back uh, it's still early days being in the Asian session uh, we want to see if that buying continues through tonight's uh, European and New York session but again we have this medium term trend that's still in play we have a consolidation and we're just looking for buyers to basically make a statement confirm the move break higher and then we'll look at to see if we do have a move higher uh, how things go if they reach this resistance point so that's the next big key point there for buyers to face but first step first they've got to break this consolidation here again on the euro uh, we want to see buyers break above this consolidation point here to show that this is not just a uh, flush in the pan and again on the Aussie um, be looking to see how uh, the rate statement comes out this afternoon from the RBA and we want to see a move above this resistance and we want to see a, a real consolidation from buyers showing that this trend has now been broken so that's it for now um, as mentioned before keep an eye out uh, later today for the RBA rate decision and statement and until tomorrow have a fantastic trading day and bye for now